down here, um, this place will resemble the cave you were in earlier. So, um, you'll be in a little block enclosure. Just um, push the a couple of blocks and then head down. In here, you can kill the slugs and um, just trying to use my roll attack there because I rarely use it. But, um, anyways, after the slugs are dead, use your gust jar to get over to the mushroom. And then head left. In here, kill the slugs. Um, and you're probably going to want to get your boomerang out for this next part. Um, stock up on hearts. And then head through. And here there'll be these pincer enemies, and um, you're not supposed to be able to hit them from the front when they um, have their pincer on, so you're supposed to wait for it. But there's a much easier way to kill them, and that's just by hitting them with your boomerang and then going at them. So um, the right way is to either hit them from the sides or wait till they throw their pincer thing. But um, you're gonna see a lot of these in the next dungeon, and it's just gonna be much easier with the boomerang. So um take care of them and then open the chest for the flippers so now you can swim so you want to press A to go faster and B to dive and then after that you want to head down and um for right now you can't get that chest you need an item that we're going to get in the uh, next dungeon. So, from there just head down and exit. And here you'll see you'll be in the, um, in Hyrule Town. So just head up the ladder there, or the stairs, turn, um, you can go back to the bookshelf, but the uh, elder isn't going to do much for you. He's just going to say, there you go. So, um, after you turn big, you can head down the stairs. And head out here. And there is a thing I thought I could get, but um, I couldn't, so... I'm just going to cut that part out. So, anyways, you want to pull out your Ocarina of Wind and head over to Lake Hylia. There's a few more secrets we can get over there before we head into the next dungeon. So, we're going to go get those. And again, you can see the Temple of Droplets from right there, but we're not going to go and actually go in it just yet. Right next to the house where you got your bottle, go into the water and dive and you'll get a, another piece of heart. Um, can't remember which one that is. See another piece of heart over there, but um, it's uh, you can't get it yet. So you want to head all the way down in Lake Hylia and then go down here and grab um, another piece of heart and I believe that one is number uh, 22 and now you can head down here and you can grab number 23 I believe and then you can talk to this guy Waveblade so he'll give you um, a new uh, a new sword attack and this one comes in handy a little bit but normally I don't have one heart left so just cuz this game is kind of easy but um anyways it does come in handy so when you have one heart just swing your sword and um, you'll shoot a beam out later on 
we will be getting one where we have when we have um full when we have full health we will be shooting in B mode. So that's all the secrets we can get right now. Um so over here you can just jump into the water. Head up and jump into the Temple of Droplets. And this is the end of the chapter. So I will see you next time.